Hello, hello people. How are you doing? How are you today? Guys, you all are doing great. Yes, this is your girl, Ella Smiley. message i brought to us today yes hey. in today's video we'll be talking about agony of a brave mom yeah. yes agony of a brave mom she's a mom she's a wife she's a sister and she is a friend this is the agony this is the story yes. of her life agony of a brave mom yes she's too brave she's too yeah she's good she's good in everything she does she's a very good woman but just check out what happened to her it's not easy it's never easy it has never been easy in her life it has never been easy to um, in her life honestly because she had a very bad scenario of her life yes yeah thank you darling Yes, she has a very bad, um, a very bad, sorry about this, so sorry about this, it's my boy, he just brought biscuits, he said, want me to eat biscuits, so eat biscuits with me, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry about that, okay, yes, it's all about agony of this wonderful woman, agony of a brave mom, yeah, she's a wife that worked in a bank, she worked in a bank as a bank manager and she has worked in a bank for so many years after her graduation, her graduation in school she secured this job she got this job in a banking sector so she was working there she had a family she had a she had three kids two boys and a girl her husband works in f company so they had a maid and she left her children in the care of this husband. Yes, because of every all of us know the kind as in all of us know the uh, how hectic banking sector is. Majority of us, or even virtually all of us, knows about that. The banking sector has a very big task ahead of it. So she worked there as a manager, not even as a. But before she got to that um, stage, she was once a marketer. She marketed, she did her marketing job in that job, uh, in that banking sector. Yeah, sorry. There you go, go and play, yeah. She did, she did that in her banking, uh, in the banking sector, she, she worked as a marketing manager, sorry, as a marketer before she got to that level. And you know that for you to get to the level of manager in a bank, it has a very big pass. Yes, it has a very big pass, honestly. Okay, as I was saying, she's just, uh, she, uh, you know how hard it is for us to, for you to work in a bank, and this woman has been working in a bank, yeah, and the husband is working in a F company, and they're always busy. You can't imagine that they will grab their um, coffee in, in, in this other hand, they will grab their khakis, as they were taking the coffee and the khakis, and they're coming down, or down downstairs, is just almost the same time. They'll be doing two things at a go, you know, in order to heat up, in order to meet up their their quota. You know, it's very, very, it's a very tax, um, it's a very, very hard one to them. And as they are doing this, and their family is really suffering, they leave their kids in the in the care of a house help, and the house help is there to take care of the kids. What can the house help help? What can the house help to give these children? What can this house help? How, what can this house help? As in alter to these children's life. As a little girl she is, what can she do? What can she do? What can she give out? You know, you can't imagine that. So it just, it has been happening, they you know, they don't, what can they do? They were there, with the, the children was there without their parental care, without their parental care, nobody to tell them, nobody to tell them what to do or what not to do. So what am I saying? 
This woman started working. This woman worked in the bank for so many years. She worked, worked, and leaving these children behind without even coming back home. She will come, she will coming back home to tell her children, ha, how are you doing today? As they enter, eh? Immediately they are coming in into the house. The children are already sleepy. Yes, the children are already sleeping. Immediately they come in, the children are sleeping. The task is very hard on them. And even when they will be, no, the thing was too hard that the children, yeah, they don't care about the parents again because their parents are no longer, they are not normally there for them. The, 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 wife, the wife had an encounter with one of his, her old friend. He's a guy. Has an encounter with this guy. And this guy, you no, know, due to their friends from school, and this guy now came up with the idea that he wants he wants the lady to help her because he wants to do one business that he needed money. And this guy is very wealthy, anyways. And the guy bank with their own their their bank, and he was she was even the one that convinced the guy to start banking with them. And this guy start banking with them. And this guy came up that he needed a loan. He needed a loan to do to pursue one business. Huh? The, what can the woman? The woman has to help, you know. And the woman helped him to to give her the loan. Due to she's a manager, she helped her and process and process the loan and the, the loan stuff. And the guy got this loan. And when this guy got the loan, the guy zoomed off. He didn't see this guy again. He called the guy's line. He didn't see the guy. After like two weeks, he couldn't see this guy again. The, the words they um, agreed on, he didn't see this guy again. The guy zoomed off and she was there. She don't know what to do. She starts as calling, calling, calling people that know, people that know who you know, start calling. Nobody to reach this guy. Later, 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 they now discover that this guy has traveled out of the country, that this guy is no longer in the country, that he has traveled out. Hi, this man just don't know what to do again he has to report the case and when he report the case police was involved many people they were involved so the bank now came up that there, there is nothing they can do rather to sack her and this money she has to be paying it she has to be paying the money till she finished paying paying that money yes because that is their rule that is their law so when they guys look at it they now have to sack the woman from her job this is the job this woman has dreamt of for so many years. This is what she wanted to do. This is whom she wants to be. She wants to work a colorful job. She wants to be a working class lady. She wants to, she achieved it. She worked so hard on it. She worked so hard. When even during the time that, during her school days, she was like, hey, she always say it when you hear her story. She always narrated that she wants to be a banker and even she's aiming the she's aiming the seat of a manager so that she can never settle for less this is always what she used to do and she worked so hard if you see her when she was doing her marketing job she go virtually everywhere to convince people whether when the sun is still there the rain or what have you she still go out to convince people to come and bank in their bank and she really achieved what she won she really achieved it and when she achieved it and look at what happened this of this 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 has school met made away with bank work, bank money yeah he made away with bank money and there's what her, what they get they need to sack her and they sack her when they sack her she now went back home she tried to look for work nowhere to get work she tried to look because you cannot when you have made that kind of mistake you have that kind of mistake in your life for you to secure another job and look at how our country is in nigeria and for you to secure another job is in god's hands because that thing has entered your cv they will write it down put anywhere you're going to look for a job they will tell do you have a job them jump um, job experience you say yes you have a job experience yes and they will now look at it you're just a manager do you know what manager is do you know the quota mm -hmm. that you are just a manager in in that company what makes you to leave that job they will first of all ask you before they'll say what makes you you have to narrate the story and they will not come here come up and see it where the man uh, where the company the, or the the fame wrote this is what happened this is what makes you to leave the company they will say it that what makes you to leave the company is because of the fraud. They see they will call it fraud. That is what they call it. Call it to the woman. They call it fraud that you fraud the bank. They don't care. You people, you and your friend need to provide the money. The woman is in debt because of what some so-called friend did to her. This is the job she has fought tooth and nail to get. This is what she she has tried all her life to do. This is what makes her not to pay attention to her family. 
This is what that has made her to stay, stay in, as in working too hard, staying there without even trying to think about my family is there or my family is not there because of this job. And this is what happened to her. She lost the job at a tinkle, at a tinkle of her eye. Yes, after she must have left, after she lost the job, she came back home. The home that she has not been around, she now came back home. She came back home to sit with the children. So when she came back home, they has help. It happens that they has help. One day left the house. You can bring it. They has help left the house when she went out to meet a friend. The has help is not there. She came, she searched for the has help. The has help is nowhere to be found. She looked everywhere. She didn't see the has help. She ran and she didn't see the has help. She started calling phone, calling the girl's phone. She can't reach her. She can't reach anybody. She asked people around. She asked this man. They didn't see this has help. Where is the has help? Has help is nowhere to be found. She looked, look, look, has help is nowhere to be found. Now call the person that brought the has help to her. The person that said that I've not seen the has help. She was like, what is happening? You know, as, a, a, an, a, as an intelligent woman, she has no other option than to go and report to the police. She went to the police and reported the case. When she reported the case, and we are, they were like, they will look for the girl. They start calling, asking, the, the girl has a boyfriend. The woman said she didn't know if she has a boyfriend. So what happened? One day somebody came and told her and told her that, I saw your house here, but what is happening? And the lady was uh, like, ah, was shocked. When did you see this girl? So I saw the girl with one guy like that. They have to trace to go and see the girl. After when they traced, they saw the girl in that guy's house. And when they got there, they asked her and said, I left, madam. If you see her voice, you will not believe. She said she didn't really believe that this is the girl that I kept in my house. I filled, I feed my, I feed this girl. I paid her monthly salary. I do ever everything for her. The way the girl was sounding. At the time, the girl and now, the girl now, she now looked at it and said, "Okay, thank God that she's okay." Now, as the girl, is, this is how you left my house. You just leave my house. The girl said, "Yes, Auntie, I don't want to stay get there again. I want to stay with my boyfriend. Children of these days, children of nowadays." That is how the guy, the girl left the house, and the girl just down, gone like that. Okay, the girl, the woman, now came back home to sit with the children. So every morning they have to do house chores, they have to cook. The woman will go to market and she'll buy food, things to cook, to prepare. And she will call the younger, the, the, the daughter to come and help her in the kitchen. The daughter cannot even do anything. Anything she asks the daughter to do, the daughter will tell her that I don't know how to do it. I can't do it, mommy. I can't do it. Stop disturbing me. You're bugging my life. Don't do this, don't do that. Eh, they go and bring a house help to come and do this and do that. The woman will be looking at her children. The one that bust her one day is when she was upstairs and she was perceiving smoke, as in smoking, smoking. That is, she was like feeling that somebody is smoking somewhere, and the thing, the, the the smoke was coming with full flame, and she she was like she now came downstairs, and when she was coming downstairs, and she looked at the balcony, she now what she saw is her children, the two boys smoking. Hi God, and she looked at them and said, "What is that? What are you doing?" She shut up. Call their name. What are you doing? They said, ah, mommy, leave us now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mommy, leave us now. You know, just to want to plead them, beat them. They said, don't beat us now. Two boys, they were smoking, 17-year-old boys. They were there smoking. And she does look at it and say, God, what is this? She, sh she shouted at them. She start quarreling. She start shouting. She start talking. No. Start shouting. No mothers now. We mothers. She was talking, 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 talking. Do, do, through that, throughout that day, she was talking until the husband came back. So they were talking now. The day when the husband now came, the husband they called all of them. They saw them that even they said even the way this this children was responding, eh? Give her the idea that something is at stake. Something is really happening. And she just look at it and she nod her head. She start crying. She said, God. She start crying. So after that very day. After some time, like two months, gone. Two months gone. She got the bump of her life. This one is too hard. This one is too much for her to bear. After two months, one day, she saw her daughter. Her daughter is in the house. She was sick. She was feeling feverish. She now asked her, what is wrong with you? She said she's feeling feverish. And that day was Saturday. Then she didn't go to school. She was feeling feverish and the mom was like thinking that it's normal fever. 
now just bring some tablet and give her she just she was feeling feverish the fever will come and it will go so it happens like that till one day she went to school on monday when she went to school the teacher now see her said ah, you're not feeling all right you need to go back home say i'm not going later she came uh -huh. The mom was like, the teacher told her that, okay, I don't know what is happening to your daughter. You need to take her to the to hospital to see your doctor so that the doctor will know what is happening, that they don't know, that she has been feeling feverish since morning and a girl of 15 years. The mom now took her to their family doctor. The family doctor is, I mean, said that you need to run some tests on you, take her blood sample and start running tests, telling, tell them that the next day they come and collect the test, the test result will come out. So the next day, the test result now came out. The doctor saw it. Ah, the doctor was like, what? What? Wow. The doctor was shouting. The doctor called the mom. Come. You know how moms react on that kind of thing? He just called her to mellow her, mellow her morals down. You now call her and sit her down and ask her, how close are you with your daughter? How close are you with her? Have you been following her or that's what I saw? The woman was shocked. The woman was like wanted to, as in past that. What is happening? What are you telling me about my, about my daughter? Is anything bad happen? What is happening? The woman was like, she was furious. You know, the doctor now told her that honestly, madam, your your daughter is pregnant. Check out your own self. Maybe we'll still run. The doctor said maybe we'll still run another uh, test for her to check very well. So the, 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 the woman shocked, the woman that fainted. The woman was like, ah, ah. she was like, you know that kind of thing, that kind of emotion, that kind of thing. You know, when it happens to you, how your reaction, how you feel. Just feel that woman, put that woman in your shoes. That was what the woman felt that very day. She was, she was, I can't bring it. She was, she was furious, you know, she was like, ah, ah. So it happens, it happens. The deal has been done. So she called the doctor, they went back home, start interrogating the doctor, start asking her what is happening, what, when did this one happen, what happened, who, do, who did this. There are many questions at a time without answer. The girl was there just crying. No, they don't know what to do, a little baby of 15 years. They were like, the boy, the girl was crying, the woman was also crying, what is happening, what is this, oh God, is this what I have to get for working in a bank? Is this what I have to get for trying to fight so hard to build these children, to have, trying to fight so hard to make these children to sit up to get what they're supposed to get in life is this what the woman was asking as i was crying i said somebody died no the woman was shouting asking the girl who did this who do that who did this who did that? a lot of things you know guy and why sorry i am bringing this topic i am bringing this particular um message now because of what i have to talk yes is a is a is an agony of a brave mom She's a she's a real she's really brave because she fought to turn now to get to where she is. Despite forget that at later end, a friend of hers did that to her. She was trying to she aimed high and she got what she wanted, but at the end of it, the sorrow was what comprises everything. But nevertheless, it still happened, and she still forged ahead. And when getting to when got into her home, she now said, "Okay, no problem. I'll say foot the bills. I'll she do it. It's only God that will judge. I shall always go to church to put this thing in prayer to pray because some people will come and tell her, don't think too much. You don't know what tomorrow brings. Tomorrow we don't know what happened to this guy, but whatsoever that happens, we believe that for the fact there is life. Mm -hmm. Something, something, something will happen once in one way or the other. Maybe he will come back and maybe he will pay you this double or triple, or maybe you will get it, or maybe he will get it hot wheresoever he is. Some people try to console her, some people, many people try to console her. Let her she take solace from God. She takes solace and says, God, I leave everything to you. I didn't do bad. Because of this guy, I lay, I lost I lost my job. Because of this guy, I'm going to pay money that I didn't use. Because of this guy, look at what is happening. Look at what I'm facing. But the other way around, and I said, thank God that this thing happened. Because had even this thing didn't happen, I wouldn't have come back home to meet my children this way. Now, oh yeah, go, oh yeah, go, go and play, okay? Go and play. Yes, go and play. 
He said, because of this, I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known at all. But because of this guy, this thing happened, I came back home to know that I have a duty that are uh, a real duty that is even waiting for me. A real duty. It's not everything is not all about I want to get money, I want to do this. For the fact my husband is working, this is what she was telling herself before the doctors in here still before the doctors um scenario come up. She was even telling herself when she find out what the boys did and she was consoling herself. So thank God that this thing happens. She needs to come back home to stay with her kids. She needs to back, come back because she has a bigger task ahead of her. More than this job she just uh, picked. So and she was saying and she was talking to herself, telling herself, consoling herself. Yes, before this one now came up. Mm -hmm. They came back home. They don't know what to do. Danny. They came back home, they don't know what to do. She don't know what to do. The husband came, they talk about it, they start asking the girl, what happened? Who did this? A lot of that, this and that, this and that. I need to cut it out there, you understand? Because it's a long story. Okay, I need to cut it off because I'm talking about an a, 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 um, agony of a brave mom and morals. Agony of a brave mom and morals. You see what happened to this woman? A brave mother. You see her agony. This is what she felt. She, within a twinkle of her eye, she's losing a children she, that she gave birth to. A children that she so, she's supposed to nurture. A children that she's supposed to carry on. Within a twinkle of her eye, she losing, she's losing that. Her little daughter, see what happened to her. You can't imagine you. You come up, somebody told you that your 15 year old daughter is pregnant how would you feel just put that woman in your own shoes and see how she's feeling just put her in your own shoes you understand what i'm saying i may i may not be narrating the story well but i need to because i'm picking this point i'm picking it out in order to in order to build up my fat and what i'm saying yes who are you, you in that? your daughter's life who are you in your son's life how close are you with them? Are you a stranger? Are you a friend? Let's leave about mother, being mother or being what? Are you a friend to your, to your children? How are you teaching them? What are you teaching them? Are you really teaching them morals? Are you really telling them what to do or what not to do? Are you there to tell your daughter? When your daughter is seeing her monthly circle, how good are you in teaching her or are you all these people that said no i don't want to teach my daughter i don't want to tell her about this i don't want to, to tell them i don't want to tell them that um yeah telling them that is just being uh, opening their eyes or doing what because some people some people are like that some mothers are just like that then they come some mothers are just like that you see some mothers when you see some mothers they don't want to teach their children what they're supposed to know they are seeing it as it's a big deal or what. They don't want to teach them exactly what they want to know. And this is the aspect of it. Because if you don't teach her, she'll go outside and somebody will teach them. And when that person teach, teach, them, teach them, you teach them in the hard way. But when you're a friend with your daughter, you have the... You have the Danny, don't go there. When you're a friend with her, you will be able to tell your daughter... Let your daughter be your friend, your best friend. You, you let your daughter yeah, it's be. It's all about work, 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 work. When you're working, you take out your time, because we this time wait for nobody. You get it. You create your time. You schedule your time. This is the time I have for my children. Whenever you come back home, make sure you bring out time to sit with your children, to ask them some questions, to still teach them on things that they don't know. It's not all about every time you carry your bag, you carry your car keys, you enter your car, you rush down to your working place. When you come back home, ah, no, you relax. Bring food, let me eat. You don't know what is going on with in your children's life. You don't care to know what your children are up to. You don't even care. You don't care. You're not friends with them at all. When your children come, you want to know. You don't want to give them listening ears. This is not how you build a future tomorrow. Because tomorrow we will live to regret it if you build it like that. You will live to regret it because when other people's children are getting it right, your children are there misbehaving. Yes, 
tomorrow you come and you want to accuse anybody you will not accuse anybody or come and tell people that people are against you people are fighting against you enemies are fighting against you you are the enemy of yourself you are the enemy of yourself when you build your life they said any seed you planted today tomorrow that is what you will reap you plant a good seed today you will reap it tomorrow but once you don't plant plant a good seed what do you want Whatsoever you plant is what you will reap. So we need to plant a good seed in our children's life. We need to take out our time to build their lives. Look at what happened to this lady. A lady that is working so hard and a, and a brave mom that has fought so hard to get where she is today. And look at what, did, what happened to her. She lost everything. She lost, lost virtually, virtually everything. Yes, she lost it. She lost her children. She lost the banking work. She didn't have it nothing to write home about she don't have any she don't have her banking banking work she don't have her children look at what will happen what will happen to you? i don't know at times i would be asking what is going to happen to this woman now she she's running as if she's de depressed she don't know she will be she, the way she was when she was narrating this story she looked depressed look at her she looked depressed honestly because there's nobody that kind of thing will happen and that person will be still when you look at her she'll still be flourishing no way no way within a tinkle of an eye you're losing it you're losing it within a tinkle of an eye so you really need to bring out your time you bring out your time it's very important honestly Make sure you take out your time, you sit back home, you take care of your children, you teach them what they're supposed to know. Our duty as a mother, we need to be back, we need to teach our children the ways to go. We need to plant a good seed on them because of tomorrow. So that you will not cry tomorrow because it will hit on us. You know, these women, we are not with them, oh, it's not the same mother that born us, oh. honestly. Even if it's the same mother that born us, it's not the same mother that created us. Because once you're doing it and you find that the, their husband, maybe some people, they find that their husband, their children are just going astray. They are not holding them again. You see them, they'll be thinking of getting married to another. So my sisters, so my mothers, so my mommies in the house. It's very important for us to take out our time to stay with our kids. For us to take out our time, no matter how big they are, they still need that more, um, um, parental advice. No matter how, how, how they are, honestly, they still need the parental advice. They still need us to talk to them. They still need us to tutor them. They still need us to tell them the right path to go. You understand? Don't just be, don't leave everything in the house, in the care of your house help. Your house help that you're even leaving your children in the care. You don't know her character. Okay, look at what happened to her. Her house help just lived like that. It's the house help that even teach this, her daughter, her bad boyfriend and uh, other things. Yes! Because they are not always at home. The daughter, the, the house help will be there. The boyfriend will come and visit her. And when the daughter comes back from school, the daughter will be seeing what they are doing in their own parents' house. Because, because this house help has known already the time the madam is coming back home, the time the, 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 the ogre is coming back home. So she will round up anything she is doing fast, fast, fast before they come. And they don't know what this house help do at, the back, at, at their own back. You see? If the child had even the, this girl was there and the mother was there teaching her and the herself wasn't there, you understand? This woman wouldn't have fall this kind of victim. This girl wouldn't have fall this kind of victim. Yes, you don't blame this girl. They are suffering. The girl is suffering too. She's suffering. Yes, I'm not justifying what she did, but she's suffering. Honestly. She's suffering because the mom is not there. The mom that's supposed to be her friend is not there. She's not there for her. She's not there to tell her. She's not there to tell her what she's supposed to know. You will be there, your, your daughter, start seeing her monthly circle. You're not there to tell your daughter what she's supposed to do, how she's supposed to carry on with life, that she has become a full woman now. Nah? You're not there to tell her that. How would you want your daughter to grow with that kind of attitude? Nobody tell her, like even me, when I was growing and when I saw my, my mom was there to tell me, my elder sister, I bless God for them. Yes. That is exactly how we need to grow our children. You're not there to take care of your daughter when your daughter starts seeing her monthly circle. You're not there to know when your daughter is feeling headache. You're not there when your daughter when to know when your daughter somebody somebody tried to um somebody tried to molest her. You're not there. You're not there to know when your own son somebody tried to molest her. It's not, it's not only girls that they molest. They still do it to the boys. 
You don't know what this girl is passing through in the hand of her teacher. You don't know what the, your son is passing through in the hand of her teacher. You don't know, you're, you're not cooperative. You're not there for them. You're just far away from them. Who they see closer to us today is their heart that has hair. And that has hair, you don't know her character. Majority of you will go and there's the, the, you go and sign herself from all these, um, all these, um, what the organi organizations, all these organizations that they, they sign at herself, they give at herself. You go and sign in herself that you don't know her character, you don't know her for Adam, you don't know every, anything about her. You sign and you keep such person in the house. And when you keep such such person in the house, you go and relax and feel, feel comfortable. How can you be comfortable in such manner? You don't have to be comfortable. So we need to, we, we need to really emulate this thing they call morals. We need to emulate this thing they call morals and teach our children morals. Teach them also morals how to behave. It's very important that you teach your child how to behave yeah, anywhere, anywhere he or she is. Teach your children morals so that they will know what the moral is. But you're not there to teach them. How would they know about morals? So tell me, how would they know about morals why you're not there to teach them? Why you're not there to teach your child moral? How would she know? How will he know what moral is all about? But once you're there, you befriend with your own children. Be closer to them, not only giving birth. Some people will just go, I don't give birth, and you forget about it because you have given birth to them. You call yourself mother. After I'm a mother, I've given birth, but you don't know nada about child child's running. You don't know anything about it. You don't know what they call parental running. You don't know about it. It's not all about giving birth. It's all about being there for your children. It's all about telling, taking care of them. It's all about telling them what they have to know. It's all about teaching them morals, both in and out. It's all about teaching them this is the right path to go. Don't go this way so that you will not go astray. Yes. It's an adult that they said, um, it's only adult that I will say, you will not come and tell me that bad friends corrupt you. No. It's not only that. Bad friends can only corrupt younger ones, younger youth, younger minds. Children of 19, children of 15, 14, 16, 17, younger minds, they can influence them easily. Not an adult. They can influence these ones easily. They can just because of, look at what that guy did, the, 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 the sons, look at the sons. Look at what they did, they are smoking. They learned, they just learned that from the friends. They learned it from friends. They just learned it from friends. The friends are smoking, they just, because they see they are smoking, they want to try it out, and they tried it. But when you had been you're there, you tell your child, you tell your son, don't smoke, don't do this. If you smoke, this is what will happen to you. If you do this, this is what will happen to you. This is the outcome of it, what you face. When, you, when you're telling them this, this thing will be in their minds. It will not go out. Because children easily learn, they, they easily grab. It will be in their minds. They will know, yes, they don't need to do this, they don't need to do that. But you're not there. You don't, you don't expect the help to teach them that one. So what help will even tell you, go and bring, let's do it, let's do it together. Uh -huh. You've not seen that kind of people. Go and bring it so that we can do it together. We can grab it together. Honestly, do not leave your children at the care of your husband. Never. Do not leave your children at the care of herself. Do not go and leave your children at the care of herself. Because it will never do you good. You will face it when the heat will come. Please, my wonderful people, I'm only here to tell us. I'm only here to give out my small mindset, to say it, as in to tell you my own little part. Because when I heard about this story, I said, okay, I'm going to analyze it here. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to elaborate on it. So please, please, I am pleading. Take out your time to stay back home. Take out your time, that little time you have. Please, let that little time be a very wonderful time for you and your kids. Be with them, stay with them, tell them what they're supposed to know. Teach them what they're supposed to know. It's very important because it will help us to forge tomorrow. It will help you because tomorrow you will be the one that will enjoy it. It's not Ella because you'll be the one to enjoy your family, your children. You'll be, in, you'll be the one when you see your children becoming relevant in this society. 
you'll be the one to enjoy it. Maybe I might benefit from it. Maybe tomorrow your child will become the president of tomorrow uh, uh, of our country uh, because you're my friend or because you're my fellow YouTuber. And uh, because of that, okay, through you, I will just zero mil money. And uh, from there, you know, I get small part from it. So build a child, build your child today so that tomorrow you will reap from it. You understand? Try and build a good link, try and build your children and build them in a good way to go because tomorrow they will never live that way. They will never, there's nothing that will make them to leave the right path to follow the bad path, except something is at stake somewhere. For the fact nothing is at stake, you're training your children, you will see them coming with you. You see them doing what they're supposed to do, okay? Please, that is the good news that I brought to us this day. So as we are doing this, Daniel, as we are doing this, please, may we not go astray, may we continue to carry our children along okay please do not leave your house help do not leave your children in the care of house help it's not good stop it if you're planning you're there trying to go and bring a house help to come and help you please i didn't say that house help is not good you can bring have a house help but please do not leave everything to house help bring out time and have time for your children that is what i am talking about that is called morals teach your two children morals please it's very very important it's very important okay you can now you see the agony of a brave mom you see where it landed a brave mom what her agony is that's why i said follow me as we hit it you have listened and you have heard the story of agony of a brave mom please do not please do not find yourself in that particular situation may that particular situation may that situation may not be a portion in jesus name amen thank you guys thank you for listening to me thank you for being here on my channel thank you for following me up thank you for giving me your audience please my wonderful people i appreciate you for coming appreciate you for listening to me please uh, yeah i'm wrapping my video from here i still remember your name I still remember your name. A last man said that verse. In case you are still there looking at me, and that subscription button is still red, please go away and just just remove it. Let it be ash, okay? Remove that subscription. Let it be ash. Nah, no. Yes, please, okay? Subscribe to my channel, okay? And give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you think about this video. Give me your own ideas. Look at what happened to this woman. You can still tell me what that woman is supposed to do at that particular time or what she's not supposed to do at that particular time. You can leave it on my comment section so that I come back to you again. I still remember your babe. It last my second verse. Ciao!